Turning now to Trumbull County, where commissioners address concerns over the purchase of several trucks. First News reporter Nadine Grimley was there and spoke with all the commissioners following that meeting to get their view on what transpired. You're putting words in my mouth. I'm not going to play bidding. semantics with you. Let's okay. move on. There were heated discussions during Wednesday's Trumbull County Commissioner's meeting, mainly dealing with agenda items pertaining to the county sanitary engineer's office and the purchase of nine trucks for a total just over $400,000 in November. Everything that is being alleged in there is, is completely twisted, completely um, misunderstood. Everyone in this situation acted in good faith. In a letter to commissioners dated January 4th, Assistant Prosecuting Attorney William Danzo wrote, We are concerned that this purchase could be construed as violating the competitive bidding provisions, and added the office would be requesting an opinion from the Attorney General. Had the Board of Commissioners been doing things properly to where we're voting on things after they're approved as to form and process, this would have been prevented. And I've been trying to accomplish that for some time now. Sanitary engineer Gary Newbrow says the office needed new trucks. The department's purchasing capabilities were limited during the pandemic. And starting May 2021, the department tried to purchase vehicles through state purchasing five times. But by the time commissioners passed resolutions, the trucks were no longer available. Newbrow says they attempted to purchase trucks through national purchasing too, but bought them from Claiborne Ford since the dealership had trucks available, something commissioners approved in November. We knew they were slightly higher than what they were going to be for state purchasing, but we discussed that at length before we, uh, they authorized us to, per to get them. Nothing that I can see was done intentionally and properly, uh, maybe Dot and I crossing a T type of stuff, but after the extenuating circumstances that went with that and the person, if anyone's tried to buy a vehicle lately and try to order a truck, uh, they know how hard it's been since COVID. During the meeting, commissioners Cantala Mesa and Malloy said the issue was addressed during a workshop meeting the day before, and they were expecting another letter from the prosecutor's office. But there's another letter that's coming yeah, yeah. with new information that the prosecutor received Correct. after that opinion. Okay. Correct. Danzo confirmed to First News that another letter pertaining to the purchasing issue is forthcoming. And Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.